Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with P&G Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of custom natural gas and propane kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the custom kit that we designed for the Generac IQ3500. Uh, we'll show you the natural gas steps and we'll show you the propane steps on this and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, first I wanted to show you when we, we're going to open the cover up here. And to be able to get to the air cleaner, it's kind of tough in this area here to be able to get the adapter on. So what, I just wanted to show you the inside of this. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and turn the unit to the side. And these are 8 millimeter. We're going to pull these four screws out and remove this cover and kind of just set it to the side. It gives us enough room to be able to get our hand in there. And then that way we can get access to the carburetor. So just go ahead and make sure you don't lose your screws in there. You just pull the cover. It pops right off. Just go ahead and then you can turn it back sideways. Now you can get your hand access in there and then we'll go ahead and show you the next uh, steps on this. Okay, my hands might be in the way a little bit on this video because obviously we're in a tight little area. But first what we're gonna do now, we got our cover off here, open our door back up, pop the clip on the bottom here, and then just, and now see you can get your hand through here. Just go ahead and pull your air cleaner cover off. Pull your filter out, and you got a little plate that keeps your uh, filter from sucking in. And then I just pull this. Got to kind of pull it through the front. That's why I'm saying it's kind of difficult there. So now that we've got that, we'll go ahead and show, show you what we're going to do on the next uh, step here. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and get rid of our hose here. Just pull that off, set it to the side. On the back of the unit here, down here, there's a vibration um, bolt. Uh, it's 10 millimeter. Just go ahead and remove that back bolt there. Again, my hands are gonna be in the way a little bit, but just go ahead and get that removed there. And then we'll go ahead and remove the two nuts holding on the air cleaner cover. Again, this is why we pulled this front so we can kind of see in here a little difficulty okay All right. we'll go ahead and remove that and get this cover out of our way or i should say the back of the cover get that one and then we'll pull this one here loose pull your back cover out of there get it out of your way we'll show you the next steps on it all right now we've got our air cleaner completely removed from here we've got access to this now obviously when we install our adapter on here we're pulling this away a little bit okay and these studs aren't quite long enough so what we do is just kind of pull your your gasoline carburetor back and i'm just giving you where you can get access to the back of these studs what you're going to do, and these are real easy to come out. These were probably the easiest ones to come out that I have did. But most of the time you can lock that down. And then you want to, don't just do a turn. You want to do a quick little snap and that'll break them loose. And pull them out until you get enough clearance on there to be able to get our adapter on there. And be able to get the cover back on. So we've already got them pulled out. All right. Now... Get that pulled off. They've already supplied you a gasket here on this side. All right. We'll supply you another gasket for here. Go ahead and get that on there. And then get our adapter on there. 
okay and now we'll supply you another gasket for this side go ahead and get that and then we can go ahead and get our cover back in here and on the back of this hose you see we got to connect this back hose back up over here all right that pulled off pretty easy so just go ahead and pull that back and you can get that back on there and that's for your vent line for your gas so it doesn't um, create a vacuum draw on your um, gas tank for you so go ahead and get that on there we'll get this set we'll show you the next steps here all right now we got our hose on the back we'll go ahead and snug our back air cleaner back in and then what I do is I just don't snug them real down tight at first just kind of keep them loose a little bit and then that way when you do your vibration bolt in the back you got you can move it around a little bit so just go ahead and again it's a tight fit down in there just get your hand up in there and it pulled that away but it will go back on there get your hand back in this front side and you can kind of move it around a little that tighten in okay now I got the vibration uh, bolt back in now sometimes it's stubborn um, I had to loosen up the uh, bolt going down to the engine just a little to pull it forward once I did that everything was good so we'll go ahead and get our hose hooked back up here still got plenty of room there and now we'll go ahead and get our uh, metal plate in the air cleaner again it's easier to come through this front Get that set in there. Get the filter in. Oop. Get this in. And again, like I said, with this part here, it's easier to go through the front. Feed it through. Just kind of hold your air cleaner in there a little bit. Bring it back down to the bottom. Pop that on. And it's as simple as that on this part here, you know, it's pretty easy. So, all right, let's get that clip there. And we'll, there we go. And then we'll get the bottom clip down. All right, there we go. And we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now that we've got everything installed on here, there is no gasoline shutoff valve on this. So to run your alternative fuel, we've got to install a gasoline shutoff valve. So if you can see up here, this is the bottom of the gas tank with just a hose here. Now we'll supply you with another shutoff valve, okay? And you can install that right in there. So first what we're gonna do, make sure you don't have any gasoline in here, uh, cause it will come out this. So go ahead and take the clamp off pull the clamp down you're going to reuse that clamp there let's go ahead and pull your fuel line down and then just that's nice again about the cover being off go ahead and install the shutoff valve there bring your clamp back to the shutoff okay so i got the shutoff out the clamp back there just go ahead and take the new whole line that we give you feed it up in there that way you got access to be able to turn it on and off again if you ever want to use gasoline let's go ahead and slide your hose back up on there and get your clamp back up and i mean it's as simple as that so just again make sure you just don't have gasoline in there all right there we go okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to install a bulkhead fitting here now we're gonna drill this out in here. That way you can connect your hose up here and you can have your natural gas or your propane coming in here off your regulator so you don't have to interfere with the door or, or anything like that. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just make a mark over from the corner of the black cover here, three inches. 
and then come down from the lip here an inch and a quarter make you a mark there and go ahead and get you a punch set if you got a different one that's fine these look good here and what we're going to do is this is to, right a little over five eighths to be able to get that in there and we're just going to drill it out to be able to match this up here so we can get that through so let's go ahead and we'll get this started drill this out there's nothing back here just a little piece of foam and this is a step uh, bit I'm using here so let's see what you got a little bit more See how we are there all right then we'll go ahead and get this installed and we'll show you that okay now we've got our bulkhead installed our fittings on um, now what we're going to do we've installed our fitting back here to go to our adapter you're just going to take this slide it on just slide it on your fitting you got down there that you've installed and pull your clamp around Bring your clamp up. Make that a little tight in there. It's hard to get that sometimes. Try to pull it back and grab it up here first so we can get a hold of it. All right, there we go. Go ahead and bring that down. All right, we're all set there. Now all the installations done on this side or in the inside, and then we'll go ahead and show you the steps on the uh, regulator mount. Okay, now that we've got everything set, we'll go ahead and get our cover back on. We'll lock them down. And after this, we'll go ahead and uh, show you how to mount the regulator on here. So we're almost done with it. Okay. Getting to our final step here. What we're going to do, you're going to get this regulator assembly with the bracket. All be made up for you. Everything will be pre-assembled for you like you see here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to mount this here to the cover. All right. And the reason why I chose that is because if you ever have to get in here, you can pull your door open, swing it open, um, disconnect your hose that you got down here. And um, this will go from your propane side, and then we'll tighten that because we're going to do the natural gas also. And then uh, this will be the hose that will connect down to here. And um, this was the best easy spot. So what I'm doing is just kind of centering the bracket towards the top, just eyeballing it up just to make sure you're nice and it looks clean. Just go ahead and mark your holes. And again, take your center punch. Marks. Now I'm just going to make sure that I am the same distance down from the door just to make sure right at two inches right at two inches so what we'll do is let's go ahead and open the door back up and then that way you're not taking your drill bit if you go all the way through in case you uh, hit the inside of everything so we'll just kind of open the store we'll show you that next okay now we're going to go ahead and just hold your door um you got a little foam back in the back here don't worry about it it doesn't tear it up um just i use a 516 drill but it gives me a little bit of play with it and we'll go ahead and get this drilled out show you how to mount the regulator okay now we've got our holes all drilled and cleaned up we'll go ahead we'll supply you the hardware for this let's go ahead and line them up to the door pull this back open just kind of hold it up there 
and we'll give you some flat washers, lock washers and nuts for the back. Tighten that up. And again, just kind of eyeball it, make sure it looks nice and straight. All right, we've got that mounted. See, that's nice. You can still open your door. The only you will have to remove the hose here. So let's go ahead and we'll show you. Let's go ahead and lock the door down. And we'll get our hose here hooked up. And we'll show you that there. All right, now we'll just go ahead and connect our hose down here. And this is the one that just feeds the inside of the adapter. So you only got six ounces of pressure on here. You don't have to overkill that. Go ahead and get your clamp up here and slide your hose on. And we give you enough here if you just want to open the door a little bit physically look, you can do. If not, just remove the hose here and this will swing with it. Now we'll go ahead and get this hooked up and we'll show you how to run this. All right, now that we've got everything connected, now we're gonna run this on propane, okay? So when you buy the tri-fuel kit from us, you'll get this uh, high pressure regulator assembly and you'll go right here to the ball valve with it. Now, if you wanna run natural gas, you just remove this bushing and flare fitting, obviously with the hose too, and you'll run your natural gas directly right to this. Now, the natural gas connections that we sell are open orifice and designed to run combustible engines. They're not for grills or furnaces, things like that. Um, a lot of people uh, think you can use the ones that are orifice for the grills, but it restricts us and it runs the engine too lean. So let's go ahead and turn our propane on. Now, we'll preset these as close as we can get them here. This is your power adjustment. In is lean, out is rich. This is the only adjustment you'll have. Um, once you find this setting and get it dialed in, you lock that down. You should never have to uh, touch this again. On the back of this unit, there's a manual primer button. All right, go ahead and hit that button. That'll shoot some fuel through. You're just hitting it for a second or two. There you go, this thing is quiet. This generates a nice unit. Um, go ahead and kick it up on a high idle. easy as that. Again, you might have to set this a little bit, but it should be in the hunt for you. So, go ahead and shut our fuel off, and uh, that's a pretty easy installation on this, so we'll uh, get to the next step for you. Okay, that's the custom kit design that we've come up for the Generac IQ3500. Um, this is an awesome little unit. I mean, this thing is quiet, great running, um, had no problems with it. Um, Again, we tried to custom make a lot of this to make it easier for you to install it. You've seen I just had to remove this front cover, which was pretty easy. So um, I hope this video helped you out. I appreciate you watching it. If you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. Again, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.